Splat the cat. On with the show. Splats and his classmates were getting ready to perform the school play. Cinder paws. Backstage was a flurry of fur as the cats put on their costumes. Splat was so excited to be performing, he had butterflies in his tummy. Let the show begin, announced Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. The curtain rose and the lights grew bright. Kitten, dressed as cinder paws, was busy sweeping the floor. Poor cinder paws. Her stepmother and step stepsisters were very mean to her. Clean the floor. Saw this dress. Clean the floor again. When a royal ball was announced, Cinder Paws was left at home. She cried and cried. Suddenly there was a puff of smoke and her fairy godmouse appeared. It was really Seymour. The fairy godmouse magically changed Cinder paws rags into a beautiful dress. Next, the mice were changed into horses. They pulled a grand carriage to the ball. Backstage, Spike was changing too. There was a big problem. Spike was about to make his grand entrance as the Paw Prince Charming, but he had stage fright. I can't go on. I'm not feeling well. I've got a bad case of the spots. Well, Spike. He pointed at some purple spots on his face. Oh, dear said Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. What will we do? Suddenly Kitten had an idea. What about Splat? He could play Spike's role. Splat's tail wiggled with worry. He wasn't sure he could do it. Splat looked at Kitten, smiling at him. He didn't want to disappoint her, so with all his courage, Splat said yes, he'd play the part. A quick costume change. And Splat was now Paw Prince Charming. The costume wasn't exactly a perfect fit though. The royal ball scene began. Paw Prince Charming bowed. May I have this dance? Cinder Paws accepted and the music began. The pair danced and danced until ding dong, ding dong, the clock struck midnight and Cinder Paws ran away. Splat tried to chase after her, but he tripped over his oversized costume. He smashed into Plank the Clock He grabbed the curtain and ripped it down. Then everything went tumbling. Splat. 
The crowd gasped. What a complete mess. Splat was really worried. Mrs. Wimpy Dimple is going to be so mad at me. The audience erupted in laughter and cheering. Bravo! they shouted. Encore! The show was a comedy hit. Mrs. Wimpy Dimple leaned in and whispered, Do you think you can do that again tomorrow night, Splat? The end.